Hey folks, Blackcross here, and, uh, yeah, it's been confirmed. Now, before you watch this update video, I would recommend you go and check out the update video that Testy, Testy, Test, I'm gonna mispronounce your name, and I do apologize, because you have been very sincere about the video, but on the other hand, um, he did give his reasons. And the reason that he's given is probably one of the best reasons I could ever hear. So, from what he said, was that basically, um, he stated that, I think he said that it was, forgot what day he said, but they had officially made the master version. Now, what the master version is, is basically more or less of the actual version that they make. Before they make the actual copies for it to be reproduced, and then get sold out to the public. Basically, the master version is completed. So, basically, we can say that the whole game is done, as of right now. The whole game is done. Unfortunately, though, he felt that it wasn't the best that it could possibly be. Originally, the idea was that they could release a patch on the same day that the game gets released. Therefore, the moment you install the game, the patch would be installed automatically. But then he said that there are those who don't have internet connection. Now that was something that was to consider. There are actually quite a few people who don't have internet connection at all. And they have a PS4, but it doesn't update automatically. Not all, not, it never does. So, in fact, I know of one person who usually takes it to a buddy of his who has internet to where he's able to do downloadable content and stuff like that. But he said that he wants to deliver the best and highest quality that he could put out there for Final Fantasy XV. He wants it to be the best that he's ever made. And rightfully so, actually, because they've worked on it for 10 years. So why not make it the best you could possibly make it to be? And on one hand, I am kind of disappointed because I've waited for a very long time for this. But at the same time, that does not bother me at all. If nothing else, it's actually probably a good thing that they're doing that. They're considering everybody. Not just people who have waited long enough, but they've actually considered everybody out there. People who have internet connection and people who don't have internet connection. That was actually a smart move on their hand. So while on one hand, they technically have made the master version, on the other hand, they're not going to release that version. As instead, they're going to take that same game and polish it up and... When the game does get released, it will be the best quality it could possibly look. So, unfortunately, the game has officially been pushed to November 29th. That is confirmed. The material that I have looked into looked at fake. It really did. But then... Teske Nomura put out a video about it, and sadly, it is dubbed true, which is unfortunate. So, let me first start off by saying this much. I apologize to anybody who has actually done the research or actually went deeper into research that I could ever dug into. And stated that this was true. I do apologize. Mostly because I've looked into every form that I could look into. And keep this in mind. I'm just a standard gamer. I don't have connections with Square Enix. I don't have the publication to be able to talk to them. And as of right now, I guarantee you every gaming company is right now getting the same information. As of today, they're just now getting the information... 
and they're right now updating it. As of now, I guarantee you they're just now updating it. But yeah, Final Fantasy XV is officially confirmed to be released on November 29th. There are some good things about this, on the other hand. Which, I'm not going to deny it. It actually is a good thing. Now, why is it a good thing if I've been waiting for Final Fantasy XV? Admittedly, I have been waiting for a very fucking long time. But I don't mind. Because on the one hand, they stated that they're going to give out the best that they can possibly give. And I would prefer it that way. I really would. Because, to me, we aren't getting the full quantity as well as quality of games as we should be on day one of release. I don't think you've noticed, but nowadays, every game that gets released nowadays do require multiple downloadable patches every day. Those who are connected with internet, I'm sure you've noticed too. Every day you get like some form of a patch added onto your game, an update of some kind, any kind of update patch, what goes on whatsoever. I know for me, I've seen it about once a week, if not twice a week, on some of my games. Whether it be Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Fury, any type of game that's out there now, it gets a patch automatically. And they're trying to make this game look the best that it could possibly be, and to perform the best that it could ever do on day one, without the need of any patches whatsoever. Which, I commend them for it. I really do. They are very dedicated to their work. And they know that people have been waiting for this one. But. I think the majority of us. The majority of us who have waited this long. I think we can wait a little longer. Because of what the decisions they made. And honestly I'm kind of glad that they thought this through. They realize that not everyone is going to get this patch. And they want to make certain that everybody everybody has a chance to experience Final Fantasy 15 to the fullest. So, my hat goes off to you, Tetsuki Mora, for making that decision. I thank you, and so do millions of people who have pre-ordered the game, and millions of people who are going to buy it. We thank you for your hard work and dedication. Thank you very much. So, on the other subject, he also has said that they are going to do a lot more downloadable content in the future for those who have internet content. Basically, in other words, from what we have seen so far in terms of reveal, there's probably going to be more later on. So, whatever news and update that's going to be for Final Fantasy XV... I will be sure to update you guys on the story as to what goes on behind the scenes and everything like that. Any type of news I receive, I will be sure to give it to you. So, we're going to be waiting, let's see, September, October. So basically we're going to be waiting about a little over th three months now. But that's okay. Because like I said, there's a number of games that I'm wanting to play too. And that means that I'll have a chance to play it. Now, there's also a problem with that as well, considering the fact that 2.8 comes out in December. So, uh, but the good thing is, I'll have my pre-order finished up by then, and I'll be able to get started on the other pre-order for 2.8, whenever it gets confirmed. Which, I'm hoping they'll announce it at GameCon, which will be coming up in the next little bit. But who knows? Anyways, I just want to give you that update, and like I said, check out the video in the description below to receive the full announcement video that he has released. And, again, <laughs> I just, I don't know what to say after that, so take care, guys.